Hello and welcome to One Who Seeks. January 28th, 2024. Where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking? It's going to be a general read for the evening. Swords, Nine of Wands, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and Six of Wands. Lots of Wands. Lots of, lots of fire and passion. Fast movement. You're moving out of this, this dark energy into the light. Moving from being alone and doing shady things to being literally on stage and being praised by others for what you do and who you are. Swords are about action. Spirituality is seven. Take action on your spirituality. Yeah. You know, be kind. Don't lust. Don't don't gluttony. Love each other. Don't steal. Don't cover your neighbor's wife. Um, in the present, you have the Nine of Wands. You look very skeptical. Not really sure if you want to cross over that fence or not. say that the grass is greener on the other side but it's not always I don't see any green grass in here on either side it's a self-built fence it doesn't really seem to be connected to anything other than just free flowing there something you built yourself as a barrier for yourself, protecting yourself from something that you're unsure of. And the Eight of Wands is very fast coming together and manifesting your your dreams, whatever it may be. Lighting that fire, coming together with a group, igniting each other's fires, walking together. I feel like you're going, you're really going from this isolated, almost hermit type energy of just being alone not wanting to be with others or being skeptical of them feeling like they are thieves maybe you're the thief and you're coming out of it and you're coming together with this group and lighting the light 
using your intuition coming into the light trust that gut feeling skeptical about it there's a reason trust it gather your tribe connect to the universe connect to your spirituality so that we can get to the six of wands which is harmony be praised by others be praised by this group I feel like these are your stage workers these are the people helping you out to get to here because you can't do it alone takes a team Please clarify the advice. Hierophant. Spiritual leader, bring to peace. Doesn't matter what religion it is, they all have the same underlining meaning. Don't hurt others. What else do I need to know about this reading? Tower. Breaking down those walls. Taking down that fence. Allow yourself to be free. This is going to happen suddenly and unexpectedly. You're trying to stay in this state. But the divine has other plans. Seven of Pentacles. You're really going to be resting after this. You're going to be planting your roots and be comfortable. wherever you are and whatever you're doing you have all this fruit in your arms super sweet seven of swords again two seven of swords Gotta open those old wounds. Bury your swords. Dig them up. Get out of your head. Because if you don't, you are going to end up dead. 
Left for dead. The end of the cycle. Get out of your mind. She's killing you. Mm -hmm. Lovers. You're going to get this connection. It could be a relationship. It just could be friends. It could be career partnerships. Because it's going to be beautiful. That's within eight days. Anything else I need to know about this reading? Page of Swords. Interesting. So here we have the same girl. These same wounds that you just ripped open. Now you're sitting on top of them. But you have this light behind you. You're coming out of the dark. You're learning. You're, her you're hearing the messages from your divine. You're becoming awakened. Whoa. This. The moon in the night of wands. Someone is coming towards you quickness you're here waiting waiting for this person all in due time with the phases of the moon more dogs was in the last reading that didn't get recorded patiently waiting for this person to come in mm -hmm. who is this person that you're waiting for King of Wands. Wands to come out to six of cups. This could be <clears throat> an old childhood friend. Somebody's coming back from your past. Somebody who's confident, but a little bit arrogant. Somebody noticing his fifth tear. Why he seems so tense. Clarify the King of Wands. Three of Wands. Still trying to figure things out. You don't know which way to go. Somebody's tense. You might even have or she might have a, a childlike personality. Maybe they're throwing a lot of fits. Could 
because they're lost. Trying to find their path. How do they find you? Which way did I go? How do I get here? Maybe healing some old childhood wounds. Clarify this person. Eight of Pentacles. They're working hard right now. They're busy doing something else. They don't have time for you. Maybe they're so busy, they're up in their head. They're stressed out. They're blind. They can't see what's going on. So they're just sitting still. They're not doing anything. Too much in their head. They need to meditate. Release those emotions. Release the mind. Mm -hmm. It's just interesting because they have they're coming towards you in fast movement, yet they're sitting still and not doing anything. Please clarify. Ten of Pentacles. Talking it over with their elders. Looking for pets. Looking for love. Looking for their family. Looking for that higher wisdom. Looking for the excitement and the energy of the dog. The dog loves you unconditionally and is always excited to see you. What else do I need to know about this situation? Ten of Swords. Stubborn as fuck. It's challenging you. the Knight of Swords challenging us. Knight of Wands. Wounded. Lost the passion. Lost the battle. wisdom here. There's fast action, but it seems like you're just sitting still. Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting still when you are supposed to be having fast action? Death, rebirth. Need to meditate. Need to come into spirituality. 
transformation. Before he can come forward, he or she wants to come forward, but can't until they get out of their mind and surrender to the spirit so that you can have this divine love. messages do you have? Alignment. You need to align yourself. It needs to be balanced on both sides. Both dolphins can talk to each other telepathically. Your twin flame. And the chaser. Ether. Number 11. The seamless, unspeakable. Of the dragons. It's the year of the dragon. like two cups mirroring each other, which is also your twin flame. Let's see, number 11, this is 18, it's a nine, it's wisdom. This is a two, it's down to a two, and then it's a master number, duality. Throat chakra, express your truth. Express your feelings, express how you feel. Express what's going on. It will give you freedom and transformation. The prism of light, show your colors. We should plant a star. Remember your worth. And smoky quartz. Let it go. Let it go. Remember your worth. Be the king. Black Kyanite, set strong boundaries. Boundaries. What's your boundary? You're not letting anybody in. Express your truth. You're stopping the words from coming out of your mind. Why are you stopping the words from coming out of your mind? Allow yourself to receive. Chrysophase. It's a 
it's like somebody not listening. I'm not going to listen to you. I don't care what you have to say. Just allow yourself to receive the truth. Let go. This is not recording. Impatience. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. Hardship. May I embrace what's happening right now as baffling or painful as it is. Help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. Make it God's. Release the idea of my as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from the prison of my dear Lord. This is why you're not moving. authentically and unapologetically me. It's another dragon. Actually, I'm seeing a fox now. There's a lot of pictures in there. It's very, it's an illusion. What do you see? When others tell you how you should act or feel, they disrespect your ability to write your own story play in your own game, to be the creator of your own creations. We all do it to each other. Playful, judo, chop, the external goon squads who try to shape your story to fit their molds. But also don't try to force others to fit your mold. We are all perfect just as we are. We all deserve the respect to complete our own missions and always be authentically and unapologetic you. Mm -hmm. More. I am a contagious fireball of laughter and joy everywhere I go. This human experience should be full of smiles and laughter. Our laughter to work ratio needs attention. Besides the tickle monster, one way to pull out of a funk is to push yourself into a self-contagious laugh. Stand up with your hands and your hips and force yourself to start laughing. It will feel awkward because you aren't happy and nothing is funny. But the obnoxious fake laugh will domino into a rampage of contagious real laughs. When you start laughing more, the light-hearted energy transfers to those around you and increases the beauty of their moods too. Each day you can make one person smile or laugh so hard they tinkle in their undies. Your day is not wasted. Surrender yourself to spirit. Speak your truth. Listen. What is it telling you? What is spirit telling you? Thank you for joining me today for this reading. 
And remember that this is about your intuition just as much as it is about mine. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And have a good night. Sweet dreams. Don't forget to journal.